Just moved in my new house today Moving was hard but I got squared away Bell started ringing and changed right loud I knew I'd moved in a haunted house Still I made up in my mind to stay Nothing was gonna drive me away Hey, good morning all it's going on about 9.30 in the morning. I'm just getting out here. Oh, God, I need to clean my shop up. It is a freaking disaster area in here. Uh, last time I was mentioning I can't work on the uh, water tubes, bubbling tubes, because we had father-daughter night. So I took one of my skelly dogs in and did some painting on it. And there you go. Yeah, put them down here on the table. I think there's enough room. But uh, anyway, got him painted. I still got another one over there to paint and the skelly to paint. Uh, tonight, no family ties. I ain't got no errands today. So it's going to be a full-on build. And then this evening, once it gets a little too dark or too late out there, or when I'm just getting too tired out there, I'm going to make it into the shop, and we are definitely working on the water tubes tonight. Uh, mentioned it yesterday. i got to get the wiring straightened up and cleaned up on that one, and then that one will be done. I've got to get that one into the box and what have you. Need to get these water tubes finished so I can get in here and clean up, especially underneath the table. It is a mess. Hmm. Interesting lines going across my display. I have a feeling this camera's about ready to go on the frets. Uh, been putting up shorter vlogs in the build. Uh, a lot of people are liking the shorter vlogs. I did get a comment la yes off of yesterday's video, though, uh, wanting some of the fast forward and everything in here. Uh, keep watching. But the build is uh, for the haunt is probably going to be a lot of short vlogs, but you'll probably get a little bit of fast forwarding in one of the vlogs. So you might get a long vlog out of me this year. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we got the one doggy done. We got basically one box done in here. Uh, my main emphasis, though, for today is getting out in the haunt. So let me put down the camera. I got to move some tools and stuff out there and let's see what we've got to work with. I'll give you a shot of what it looked like before I do anything out there because it was kind of dark last night and you guys really couldn't see much. Okay, now we're out front. Here's a good daytime view. I know, a lot of wood. <laughs> hey, I got wood. Oh, sorry. Uh, we got the panels up in the sewer room and it goes on over to here i was able to get a few of the skins up last night and i forgot to put fasteners in that i'll take care of that this morning into the bump out which you couldn't see <laughs> too well last night and over into the gypsy display and this is pretty much set up the same way as it was during the uh, showcase video i did for the panels earlier this summer with the exception of this hallway little hallway here didn't have this set up for that video but uh it's pretty much where we got so far our first thing that we've got to do today is obviously get the rest of these skins up and then we'll probably end up moving over to here into this tent which will be the witch display and we'll get the walls up here and we'll get it all fixed and ready to go so I'm going to put the camera down. I'm going to get to work. Hey, midday or semi-midday. <laughs> it's been an hour or two since I did the last vlog. But uh, thought I'd give you an update. As you can see, all you can see is foam board right through here. And that's because I got the panels up. Now you get over here. We got this little hallway here. And it's tight and narrow. It's only about three foot width. Haunted tents this year is going to be semi-claustrophobic, especially in my cornhole once I get it up. But we get in here, we got all the panels up. Uh, 
do have one other thing I need to do. I have a sheet of plywood I'm going to put up over here. that will run from the back wall up to the tent. That will kind of help protect some of the props that sit in this garden from the weather. Now, I do have a problem. Uh, I started out in here with the uh, when I was doing my walls and everything. And I can remember from my showcase video when I uh, mocked this all up out in the backyard. When you got over here to this corner, this corner was actually a foot in. You know, it stopped right about here and then ran from here out to there at an angle. And I got the thing I was doing the walls. I didn't like that angle then. I don't like that angle now. You know, so I went ahead and I used my two uh, one foot panels right there in the corner. There's one here, one here. Now, work fine in here. It frames it up a lot better. I'll have an easier time doing my fencing and stuff in here to uh, keep people out of the display. But it caused me a problem over here. And as you can see, this room is done. And then, like I said in the showcase video, that's going to be left open. That huge sewer wall that I made with a fan blade on it sits right there. So people won't even see that. And then there's uh, some foam panels on the other side. The uh, big kitty, this, the giant blow-up cat goes over there. Now the problem I have with adding that one foot panel is over here. I totally spaced out that with this design of foam board, I do not have, I did not make any one foot panels up. Which screwed me royally because now I've got a one foot gap there. So what we're going to end up doing, I talked to the wife about it, and she said she'd do it, is I'm going to cut out a piece of foam. Now I don't have a full sheet, so the foam is going to run from the top down to where the black is, and then there'll be nothing down there. And she's going to come in and paint it, get it painted and stuff for me. I don't have time to carve it to make it match the patterns on here, but I can paint the pattern on. Problem is, that's a lot of time I don't have. So the wife's going to come in and do the painting for me if I can get the pattern traced out, which won't take long. I uh, asked the bottom portion of it where there is not going to be any foam. It's no problem. As God flesh will remember, and many of you that have seen the walk through my haunt in my sewer room, I have a giant stuffed dog. Here's one that we won at the fair years ago. Uh, that thing actually sits on a platform that runs right up to the bottom of the black area. And he'll be sitting right here in this corner and you can't see underneath of him so it'll be just fine I don't need to run foam all the way down so here in the next couple of days sometime probably after I get done with the bubble tubing I'll cut out I'll get a piece of foam cut out get uh, base coated with white and then sketch the pattern out on it and the wife can come out with the paints and uh, you know get that painted in so it blends in I uh, might have her do some other painting too. Uh, I have these all stacked up in my backyard and right here is a seam for the wall. And if we go down, this panel wasn't perfectly stacked. And as you can see, there's been some weathering here. That panel's not too bad. This panel, however, uh, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. But you can start seeing some light variations through here and it gets worse as you go down and I figure if she's going to be painting that little broken part over there I might get her to come back through here and just kind of touch up some of the red on here won't take long and it gives her something to do she likes to help but I've got about three or four panels like that in here that weren't stacked evenly and that uh, the parts that stuck out weathered and that's to be expected but it weathered a little too much and it looks a little odd in person so that's going to need to be painted. Uh, my next project now is out here. I've got to get uh, skins on this wall here for the witch's display. And then I still got to put my walls in here and down this section here to outline the witch's display. And then I got to get those skinned. Uh, I'm also going to bring the skins out once those walls are up. I'll bring the other set of solid skin out that goes here in this bump out. This is where the big kitty display goes, and then I can take the sidewall down. I'll leave it up because I really don't want people seeing inside. 
<laughs> the tent, but once the walls are up, everything's fine. But that white canvas wall, once I get the witches display done and the panels up and stuff, it'll be uh, taken down and we'll have less tarp blowing. All right, that's what's on the docket for the time being. Uh, I'm going to go get some breakfast. I haven't eaten at all. Yeah, I came straight out here, and that's typical of me. I keep forgetting to eat. And my stomach's starting to rumble. I'm feeling hollow. So I'm going to go get some lunch. Give you some more a little bit later. Hey, guys. Figured I'd give you a look at what we've got. And I'm not using a flashlight. This is that light I bought uh, per the recommendation of uh, Dave, a.k.a. Pandemic, a.k.a. Deb with Dave. Got to thinking about it. It'd be perfect for doing a night shot just to show you guys what I've done so far. And I showed you this earlier. This is the gypsy display. Or what will be the gypsy display. Got around into here. We got over here and I believe I showed you this as well. So this is all taken care of. And we got this done today. Got it all skinned. My next project was the witch's display, which is this room here. And it's only part done. Uh, underneath the tent here is finished. But uh, I actually have some switch back hallway. They come out, switch back and forth, end up out here. And this will be the exit. Uh, also, got the skins up on the cat area for the large cat i still need to get, we get the obviously get the large cat out here get the uh fencing and stuff up which is later <laughs> ain't doing that now uh my daughter morgan was out and we got all the uh panels that were on the side of the house over there out here and my wife came out and helped toward the end of it my daughter was slowing down uh, this area we're in right now will be eventually the torture chamber room. And I got its sidewall up. And then over here from that leg there to the bush is going to be a wall. So they won't be able to walk straight through. They'll come through here. And this is going to be our new and improved corn hall. Not hole. Hall. They were teasing me about that last year. Every time I said cornhole, it sounded like I was saying cornhole, and I'm not saying cornhole. Uh, usually, our corn hall is just one corridor. This year, they're going to come around the corner. They're getting two rows of it. It's going to be the longest corn hall we've ever done. And you get back here. They'll have that wall here, which isn't in yet. Turn around. And there's two displays that need to go here. I do not have the uh walls up yet obviously uh and i think i can put out the light and do that now uh this area here on my map i originally had as pirate and then this area over here was going to be the spider and last year we had the pirate there the spider here and the gypsy here and when i did my mapping out it was bugging the heck out of me trying to figure out where to put things because we don't like leaving the displays in the same spot year after year they always get moved you know, one way or the other uh usually like the uh, black light room last year it was on the other side of the tent from where it is now you know we just flop it back and forth uh when i did my map though this year pirate display ended up back here spider was over here but it took over the gypsy spot too uh, we decided we're going to flop them. We're going to take the spider out of that area and we're going to put him over here. And then the uh, pirate display is going to go from here over into the spider area. Now, we also had another problem. Uh, the tent here has been moved. Uh, it was further back against this bush. And we come to find out when I put the corn haul up, that tent leg right there set right in the middle of the pathway. So people would have come right around the corner and ran smack dab right into it. So we had to pull the tent over this way to get it up next to the wall so it was out of the way. And the wife and I spent a great deal of time getting the tent moved and then debating what we wanted to do between the pirate and the spider. Uh, finally got that. 
So we've gotten quite a bit accomplished today. Uh, tomorrow I gotta get out here and we'll get the wall panels up in this area, probably around this area here too, and probably start putting wind brakes and nailing guards on, and I'll explain those when I get to them so you know what they are. Uh, for right now though, uh, since I am working over there and it's really close to my neighbor's place, I'm gonna call it quits for the night. Uh, it is semi-noisy and I don't want to disturb my neighbors and piss my neighbors off. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call it quits out here and I'm gonna head out into the shop and work on bubble tubes the rest of the evening and see if I can get those done or get closer to being done. So probably have some more footage for you out in the shop, hopefully. Okay guys, we're out in the shop. Just finished cleaning up the first, uh, the bubble tube that you saw, or the uh, atomic fuel rods, bubble tubes, however you want to call it. The first one that you've already seen bubbling. Uh, the back of it back here was a disaster area. I got it cleaned up. Uh, again, to recap, I've got my LEDs and the tubes all running into here. Uh, I got positive on this side, negative on this side, and it's all connected up to one long wire, which will go to power supply. Now the brown hosing here, uh, if you remember what I was telling you, I was having problems uh, using these here. I got these at the pet store. It's a four-way T. I had four lines coming out. Hook your lines up to here, your air line up to that. Plug it in and you're supposed to be able to shoot air into the tubes. And they were not working. And come to find out, the holes on those really restrict, restricts the air. It doesn't let the air through, uh, hence not enough pressure to blow air through the tubes. So what I ended up doing is I went down to Home Depot and I bought these here. They're called a barbed T. And you buy them in the same area, we're in the plumbing area, where you buy the, these at, the, this at, which is a brown tubing I'm buying. It's uh, used for uh, irrigation. And these are some T's that you can get. I put these on down here and I've got one tube, two tube, three tube, and four tube. I just hooked them all together in, in a series. And then I have one long pigtail coming off the bottom of it hooked up to the uh, air filter and it worked. And I also zip tied them together. So we got one ton. I gotta get that one done next. That's my chore for tonight is to get that one done. And now that I know you know that this setup works i'll just repeat this setup on that one and we'll be done and over with with it okay made a little bit of progress we got both of them in the boxes running some more bubbles for you gina there's my original one you can see the bubbles bubbling away and then there's the second one also bubbling away so we got two out of three or eight because there's eight twos four in each box out of 14. there's another six there still need to wire this one up this one since it's not in the box is going to be a little different when i do this one here instead of having the wire all the wires you can see what a mess it is off the top of the top of it i'm going to drill a hole by each tube right by, through the back of that i can run the wires down then off the back so we'll be doing that, and then I'll do all my connections hanging off the back of it where it'll be less noticeable. This one's probably going to take a little while. <clears throat> and we'll be for another night. Now those there, uh, I also went through the uh, LEDs, tried to re-aim them a little bit, so they're facing more down the tube, and didn't do too much. Uh, turn the lights off here. We're going to be alone in the dark together. Watch out. <laughs> but you can see it basically is just highlighting the top of it and a little bit down the tube. If I had the glowing water in there, it might be a little bit better effect. I don't know. I am going to need to add some uh, spotlights, though, uh, some of my UV spots to it, I think, in order to get it to highlight well enough. But. We're making progress. And it did, did not take too long to wire up the back of it. I just copied what I did on the first one. I did have to play with the hosing a little bit on the inside of the pipes. The uh, air nozzles were 
aimed a different direction so the bubbles were coming up on the back side of the pipes instead of the front sides and uh, in fact I see one of them looks like it's kind of turned now but you know it's bubbling that's the main thing I can play with them when I get them out in the haunt but uh, anyway that's it for today day three yeah Sunday Monday Tuesday yeah so day three it's officially in the wraps so stay spooky stay toxic <laughs>